Good morning. Welcome back to the show. This is James Rule XRP. You are watching the James Rule Crypto Show on YouTube. I'm a crypto teacher. I'm not a financial advisor. We're going to look at some things today. We're going to look at Flare. We're going to look at the Time Series Oracles. We're going to look at a couple of articles. We're going to look at a new token that has been introduced on top of the XRP ledger. Everybody. I just want to say Happy Easter. You know, it's not just about the bunny rabbits. It's not just about the candy and hiding the Easter eggs. It's about celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the wiping away of our sins. I am a Christian. I am Baptist. I'm Southeast Texas. I'm a God-fearing, uh, people-loving, yes sir, yes ma'am, crypto-loving kind of guy. And uh, it's all about the resurrection of Jesus Christ and wiping away our sins. Let's go ahead and get it. Today's episode is sponsored by Ellie Powell. Ellie Powell is currently in their sixth anniversary. They're giving away airdrops. If you purchase a Ledger Nano or a Ledger product, they have the Ellie Powell cold wallets. They have the Titan minis. They have the Ellie Powell seed phrases. Check out the link below and tell them James Rule XRP sent you by. Okay. If you are wanting to self custody your XRP, Create your own XRP wallet on the Ellie Pal Titan, the Sum Wallet app, you know, app on your phone, a hardware wallet. There is a 10 XRP reserve. And what this reserve is, it's proof that you are a person and you are not a bot. It's showing the XRP ledger that you are an individual that is setting up your own wallet. Yeah, it's 10 XR, only 10 XRP. But when you go to close out a an XRP wallet, you're going to get your you're going to get eight XRP back, and two of those XRP are going to be burnt through the network. Here's Jake Boyle with Caleb and Brown. He says that XRP wallets need to keep some XRP that you can't spend to stop too many unnecessary wallets from being made, and to help keep the network safe and running smoothly. It's like a security deposit that makes sure everything works well and stays tidy. Absolutely, Jake Boyle. I have a an affiliate link to Caleb and Brown below. They're in Australia. They are a crypto broker. Jake Boyle is my personal broker. Thank you very much. Let's keep going. Let's take a look at the numbers. Total market cap is up a little bit. We're at 2.742 trillion. Let's take a look at some numbers here. Bitcoin is up to $70,493. Ethereum is up to $3,615. Let's go to XRP, 62.7 cents. And let's go down here to Flare Networks. 4.1 pennies. It's up 19.3% for the week. No, in 24 hours, it's up 19.3%. For the week, it's up 23%. For the hour, it's up 5.6%. And let's look at uh, Songbird. Songbird is up a little bit, 1.3 pennies. Get excited, people. And we're going to look more at it here in a second. As a matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and look at it now. I'll put this out there. 4.1 pennies flare. Believe, achieve. Believe, receive, and achieve. Flare Networks. If you're not following Flare Networks, you need to at Flare Networks. And, you know, if, if you have Flare, if you have Songbird, and if you're not taking advantage of allocating to the Flare Time Series Oracles, you're missing out. There are Flare Drops. If, you, if you're leaving your Flare on these exchanges... The flare drops are delayed. You're not delegating to the time series oracles. And there's a lot that, that you need to know. Download the Bifrost wallet at the App Store and the Google Play. And you're going to go in and you're going to wrap your flare. And I'm going to show you the video I created here a month or two ago. And what you're going to do, you're going to allocate to these FTSO providers. This is flaremetrics.io. It shows the Bifrost wallet. I'm allocating everything to the Flare Oracle, not financial advice. I've chatted with these guys. They provide staking. All of these provide staking now. I'm not staking. But you just need to go in. You need to do your research. You need to check out flaremetrics.io. You need to decide on one or two different FTSO providers to allocate your Flare, Rap Flare, and Rap Songbird 2. It's perfectly safe. It stays in your wallet. It does not leave your wallet. 
And every few days you get some free rap flare. Every several days you get free wrapped songbird. And once a month, you're going to get the flare drop for the next 23 months based on how many flare and rap flare you have in your wallet. This is the video. If you go to, and I'm going to leave a link below, how to wrap and delegate flare, flare songbird to the FTSO, the Bifrost wallet tutorial. And I go in in detail. And I'd show you how to do it. Share this video. Do the right thing. Get your Flare and Songbird off of these exchanges. Put them in your Bifrost wallet. Do Be your own bank. Get your own Flare drops. Get your own um, passive income. And that's what it's all about. Now, Jack the Rippler put this out this morning. And he says, and they say crypto is a scam. Well, if you look at the value of the U.S. dollar since... Way back when, 19, early 1900s, the Federal Reserve Act creates a central bank that with the ability to manage the country's money supply. Well, as the years have progressed, the U.S. dollar becomes a world reserve currency in 1940-something. And then as the years progress, you go to the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. And, you know, here we go. Quantitative quantitative easing begins in response to the financial crisis 2008 the dollar has gone to shit and you know i always talk to my mom she's like you know back in the 60s we could buy a hamburger fries and this for like um 10 cents or 20 cents we could go to a movie on a quarter and have money to come back you know i remember in the 80s i used to bag groceries at a local supermarket and for 20 25 bucks you could have a buggy Full of groceries. Now, when you go to Walmart and you get a handful of groceries in one bag, it could be up to a hundred bucks. So the value of the dollar has gone to shit. And they're saying that crypto is a scam. I beg to differ. Okay, here a couple of years ago. And I, I just want to bring this to your attention because there are possibilities that ecosystems and projects may fail. And this was a huge, huge failure. Back a couple of years ago, PAC Protocol released to the public file sharing on the blockchain. You were able to have your own master node. You were able to make passive income. And I put a pretty good amount of money in it. I had 20 master nodes. Back then, David Gockstein was the CEO. And I was in real close contact with this team. Well, about a year ago, they did a rug pull on us. They dropped the master nodes. They dropped the support. They were unable to be contacted. And these bastards, this rug pull was the worst loss I have experienced in crypto at PAC Protocol. And if I'm not mistaken, they have rebranded. They're a new name. I wish I could find out because I would love to, with the rest of the community, sue these bastards for the money we have lost, thousands upon thousands of dollars. But it was a lesson learned. You know, watch out for these doggy coins, these hamster coins, these giraffe coins, these these uh, stupid ass coins that are being created on these networks that uh, could possibly be a rug pull. Now, there is a new token on top of the XRP ledger. These guys at Bradcoin XRP, they run an XRPL masternode, or they run a node on the XRP ledger. They're building a decentralized exchange on the XRP ledger. They're going to have liquidity pools with automated market makers. And they, they are legit. I've actually chatted with the guys. They are XRP-centric. And it's kind of cool that, you know, Brad Coin, Brad Groninghouse is the CEO of Ripple. They're having a giveaway. They're going to give away 100 XRP. First place wins 60. Second place wins 40. I'll leave the link below. Check it out at Brad Coin XRP. Do your research, people. My name is James Rule. Happy Easter. This is the James Rule Crypto Show. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you very soon. And guess what? I told you so.